Hey, Scorpio. Wow, what, what just happened in my voice? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, how are you? <laughs> Welcome. Um, I did something while I was away that makes a tarot reader happy. Well, one of the many things. Um, I got a new deck. <laughs> I got a new deck. This is the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams by Yasmeen Westwood. Beautiful, beautiful cards. However, my dear Scorpios, when you see me from now on using this deck on camera, um, there's gonna be a little toss up of, of reversals in there. <coughs> be because that is what I was called to do for this particular deck. Um, I don't know why, I don't particularly care why, I'm just, um, you know, living my best life, following along with what I'm supposed to do as it relates to this channel, um, especially because this is one of the things I'm supposed to do. Okay, so just a bit of a disclaimer. When in, when you see me on camera from now on with this deck and this deck only, the others will continue to do the way that I've been doing them because that's not um, a change that wanted to happen. Right now, anyway. I don't know what the future brings. Who knows? Um, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. My dog woke up. All right, so, Spirit, what message do you have for, okay, for Scorpio? Um, a clear message, I want that one too. And this one, this way. Um, a clear message here, please. Release me of all judgment, all bias. Just your message for Scorpio. Scorpio, so what do you have? One more. So far, we have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, child. You do not want to mess with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You really don't. Four of Swords. Okay. Some of you might be, or how big you are. <laughs> I think there's more of a need than an actual uh, action-oriented uh, energy here to heal from something, something that has um, impacted your emotions, your ability to give and receive love. Um, okay, it could have to do with a mother figure here. Something's being placed on the back burner. I don't quite know what that means yet. Okay, tell me more please for Scorpio. the song what is this summer in my pocket I remember when you dun, 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 dun. I don't know all the words but that's the song that's playing in my head right now um I guess it would help if I knew the words huh <laughs> Because I feel like it's very um, relevant here. And I feel like it's also giving me the clue of what I'm missing. There's something here with this Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Swords. 
Someone is tired. What's this? Eight of Wands in the reverse. And in your overall energy, you have the star in the reverse. This is an indication of losing hope. And that's what I said. Something's being placed on the back burner. Page of Cups underneath that and the Ace of Wands. Perhaps a, a, a business that you want to start with that Ace of Wands and the Star card. Star card speaks on... Um, wish fulfillment something perhaps did not go the way that you wanted it to go and now you're losing hope hold on i have to look up this song um it would help if i knew um what it was called but i think that google's pretty smart Yeah, okay, I thought it's 112. What is this? Numbers in your pocket. I remember when you used to throw those things away. Why do you want to keep in touch now? What's going on here? But that's like typical water sign shit, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm a water sign myself. There, there's something here that didn't work out. I don't know if it's a relationship, um, especially with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is somebody that's like, <laughs> this is what I'm getting, this is what I'm getting. Somebody that's like, oh, we're playing that game? All right. Mm hmm yep you got it and especially as a Scorpio oh my god in it you mm. but that's exactly what it is there's so much mystery I, I, I'm jumping all over the place so hopefully you're keeping up if not slow the video down I don't know um there's so much mystery just in a Scorpio in general right I think the Queen of Cups specifically represents um cancer but it doesn't matter any water sign that there, there's mystery attached to that and when you cross a water sign in general um and it's crazy the song's talking about the pocket because just you know a little tidbit about me and i think that some of my water, fellow water signs will agree a lot of times when people cross us or when people um they don't even have to cross you. It's just like something that you learn about somebody. What I typically say is, okay, let me put that in my back pocket. <laughs> and it's funny, I was talking to my fellow Pisces the other day and, and we both, it's like, it's just like a thing that us water signs do and that we know that we're familiar with that phrase because I'm going to put it in my back pocket for later on when it needs to come out. And that's what I feel here. Something's being put on the back burner, but I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over. Well, well, well. I don't necessarily know that this has to do with like you know romantic relationship but the, I don't know this is the four of swords and queen of cups is speaking quite clearly to me so let's look into everything and see what's going on I don't know why they gave me that song. <laughs> All right, Spirit, clarify this star card in the reverse. There's definitely a need for healing here. Star card in the reverse, and especially, you know, right next to the four swords, this can definitely be an indication of depression. Um, yeah. here right 
Because the Page of Cups can also um, represent like an um, an audition or, uh, of some sort. I, and and like I said, I, I feel like there's some kind some kind of something to do with um, a wish fulfillment or a, um, a a business that you wanted to start or some something creative that you were trying to do that did not go. Um, the way that you expected it to go, okay? Something here was less than fulfilling. Um, Page of Cups and a star in reverse here. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, and there's two cups there at the top. I mean, yeah, for, for some of you, this could have definitely been, um, a romantic or, or emotional connection of some sort but I feel like it more so has to do with you Scorpio as an individual and what you were trying to um, obtain in your life or, or, or create for yourself okay um, step out on faith I feel I feel like okay a lot of different scenarios I'm saying but in general what I feel is that is as though you put yourself out there and got stomped on okay so we have the nine of cups here nine of cups and the star are both um they both speak on wish fulfillment the star in reverse tells me that it did not happen um it also tells me that someone here needs to heal okay and um yeah. Tell me more about the star card in the reverse, though, Spirit. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is definitely some kind of job or opportunity that you that you had. Okay, maybe literally an audition. Did I say that out loud? I think so. Um, the, the Page of Cups is a dreamer. The Page of Cups is someone who goes after their heart's desire. Um, Page of Cups is, is, is someone who is, you know, <laughs> living life on the edge is what I, is what I want to say. I feel like you really took a, um, a big risk. This feels very risky. I feel like you took a big risk here. Um, perhaps stepped out of your comfort zone and went towards something that you thought would bring you this ace of pentacles again I don't feel like it's over I continue to feel that okay um, maybe they gave you some bad news and you <laughs> you didn't like it maybe they told you that your acting was crap or your singing was crap I mean you guys can tell me my singing was crap down in the comments but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop singing you know I feel like it's still not over regardless of what happened Tell me about this Four of Swords, please. Seven of Pentacles. What else do we need to know about the Four of Swords, Spirit? Lots and lots more pentacles. We have the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Okay, I, I feel like whatever didn't work out here for you was was with reason. I mean, I, I think that's a given, right? Um, if you believe in that kind of thing or whatever. I think there's a need here to, to either heal from a past situation or maybe you've just been working too hard, um, focusing on something else or, or, or focusing on this thing. There's, hold on. There's something here that you are missing, Scorpio, and I, I think it has to do with, um, for some of you anyway, um, your health, okay? Star card in reverse can certainly represent um, uh, poor health, okay? Um, and, and, you know, right next to the Four of Swords, I said that earlier, there's a need to heal, but perhaps it's physical healing or, or, or mental health. 
Um, there, there's some, I, I'm no doctor, okay, let me just say that, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing here. I don't know if you just learned of something to do with your health or, um, hold on, let me look at this for a minute because there's something here that I'm missing. <sighs> It's this page of pentacles. Um, I definitely know it's this page of pentacles. Let's clarify it further, because there's something I'm missing here. What is this number in your pocket? I remember when you to throw the thing the way Spirit, what's this page of pentacles, please? What am I missing here with the page of pentacles? Seven of Wands. And that's what I was just feeling. Like there's a it's like you you feel like you've invested in this thing so much that you refuse to let go. You're like, okay, maybe maybe I just need to take a time out. Maybe I just need to rest. Maybe I just need to learn more. Maybe I need to invest more. More, 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 more. Maybe I need to buy a bigger house. Maybe I need to have a, a fancier car and that'll do the trick. That's what it feels like. Anything else for this page of pentacles? My God, the Knight of Wands, there's so much energy coming off of this card. This is someone who refuses to give up and in the energy here is the four of swords there's, there's a need for you to relax page of cups at the bottom there's a need for you for you to take a step back and reassess the situation right there's a need for you to take take a step back reassess the situation re reassess your your independence reassess the decisions that you're making reassess the 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 opportunities that you're being given okay re reassess your your defensiveness reassess this thing that you're going towards okay that this this thing that you are seeing as your wish fulfillment this knight of wands is unstoppable and you know that's exactly what the queen of cups is there like i said the the, the very first thing that i was getting okay i'm gonna put this in my pocket um for later but it was more of like a i don't know the scary kind not like the the good kind of, I'm going to put it in my back pocket. Alright. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Okay. Right. Queen of Swords, the Death card, the Ace of Swords. Clarifying the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Swords, but that's exactly what the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. This is this is someone who is very blunt, very direct. Someone who has taken their emotions out of it. Someone who's been hurt, who's been crossed. That's what it feels like. You crossed me. That's what it feels like, a, a betrayal death card in the ace of swords i 
really feel like you're being called to see this for what it is. Okay, Scorpio. Um, this is your energy with the death card. I think you will, but there's still some resistance. I mean, we saw the seven of wands come up. I think you will start to see this for what it is and, and, and see the light, so to speak, but there's definitely some resistance. And then we have the eight of wands in the reverse. This is someone who's not willing to communicate, not willing to move, okay? Things are going slow, perhaps some kind of delay, delay or delayed news. Okay, Ten of Cups. Interesting. Delayed news. Spirit, what else is this? Eight of Wands in the reverse. Some kind of delay in the plan, but what I say initially, it's, it's not over. I'm going to put that in my back pocket. Something's being put on the back burner. I think that you are delaying the news. Maybe you're delaying the news or, or, or delaying your own progress. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands in the reverse. What is this? Four of Swords. Yeah, you're the one that's delaying it, which is strange behavior. Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is strange behavior given the fact that you want something so badly here. But maybe it's revenge. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, only you will because I do feel like that Eight of Wands in the reverse is, is, is your energy. Um, it could also be an indication that you need to <laughs> even even more of an indication that you need to slow down okay with the eight of wands in the reverse that this is very very slow this is this is um a lack of communication that's um staying put okay sitting still and that's the same energy of the Four of Swords, a need to reassess, a need to heal, a need to um, think about where you're placing your time, your energy, your money into, okay? So Spirit, what Moonology card do you have for Scorpio here? And then we'll close out. time for healing I mean can't get much clearer than that but I am going to get another one we'll get one more for Scorpio please I feel like there's one more here thank you a win-win outcome is forecast yeah so for those of you I don't know that it's everyone but I do feel a bit of like vendetta that's the word or give me i feel like revengeful um energy here um that kind of behavior that kind of attitude is not going to be in your favor okay i feel like that's what this card is saying so just keep that in mind, um, Scorpio, as you move forward. Um, if you need to take the time to heal, if you need to take the time to rest, to reassess, understand that that is very much encouraged, okay? If you need to see someone professionally, that's also encouraged here. Um, anyway, this is the message I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye.